Now to the dramatic plunge on Wall Street. The Dow Jones saw its biggest single day point drop in history. CBS 2's Dana Kosloff is here to tell us what it means. Dana. Robin Erica, today's plunge comes on the heels of a big drop Friday, closing down 1,175 points, and that was after a bit of a recovery. It wasn't a dip, it was a dive. When trading ended, the Dow Jones had dropped more than 1,100 points. Which is a big move, uh, not historically big, but still very large. The day's plunge combined with Friday's 600-plus drop equals a 7% loss for the Dow in two days. So why is it happening? The concern seems to be about inflation getting higher, and that higher inflation means the Federal Reserve will raise interest rates. Which could slow the economy. But experts like Morningstar's Jeremy Glazer say perspective here is key. The market is still way up since it began its climb almost nine years ago. It's not a sign that the economy is falling apart. Uh, it's not a sign that there should be panic. And it's nothing like Black Monday, 1987's 25% market drop, or the crash 10 years ago. What it does mean for the 54% of Americans invested in the stock market is stop and perhaps reevaluate your investments. Sometimes it's okay to, to rebalance, just to say, to sell some stocks and buy bonds or buy some other safer assets if you need that money in the short term. If you need your money within a year, get that money out of risk assets. Never should have been there to begin with. Experts say wage growth is also a potential trigger to all of this. The Federal Reserve also has a new chairman as of today, but most agree it was time for a market correction, and they say that this could be it. Robin Erica, but we'll see if there's a day three. <laughs> you hope that this is it. Yeah, <laughs> lots but of people hope that. We'll, we'll keep our eyes open tomorrow. Thanks, Dana.